Hey, it's Paul with RockOutfitters.com, and this is a first impressions and box opening of the Yakima Skyrise HD rooftop tent. So we'll go ahead and unbox this tent to show what you can expect when you receive it. So this outer covering here is just a stretch wrap. Okay, and here you have the label on the end of the box to confirm that you got the correct tent. This is the Skyrise HD3, red and tan. Let's go ahead and continue on. Okay, so when it comes time to actually uh, cutting into the box, you want to set your blade to where it doesn't go any deeper than the thickness of the cardboard. So this particular box knife uh, doesn't have a setter, so I'm just going to use the very tip to make sure I don't go too deep into the box because it is possible to go deep enough to where you could cut fabric or straps. So that's a critical thing. You don't want to ruin your tent before you've even started to use it at all. Okay, so we've got extra heavy duty cardboard here to be protective. And the first thing we see is we got your quick start guide for the tent and FAQs. Okay, I'll set that aside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and peel away the uh, outer cardboard. So what I'm gonna do is put my hand on the back side here to pull it away so I am extra cautious about not getting the blade close to the to the tent on the inside. Okay, got that side. Okay, so now we have it revealed. So this is the underside of the tent. I can tell by the dots. So these dots are various placements for the crossbar mounting hardware that's included with the tent. So it is possible to set this tent up in multiple directions on your roof rack system. And so these dots will correspond uh, to the instructions determining uh, the placement of the of the mounting crossbar mounting hardware. Okay, so this is the HD tent. The HD tent will have a different type of material compared to the normal Skyrise tent. So this is a poly cotton material, which is ripstop versus nylon. So nylon is what you'll find, for example, this is nylon here on the Rainfly. So both tents use an uh, Oxford nylon ripstop material for the Rainfly, but for the actual canopy, the Skyrise tent also uses nylon, whereas the HD tent will be using this poly cotton material, which has greater strength and longer term durability, as well as uh, more thermal properties. So it can be used in a wider range of temperatures. Okay, so when you're putting the tent together, you'll find that the ladder needs to be assembled, as well as a, the crossbar mounting hardware that we talked about and those are both housed on the inside of the tent. So you'll want to go ahead and uh, open the tent up to get to those. So there's Velcro straps on the ends here. And then, so I'm going to leave this cardboard here on the floor to give us a little added cushion and protection while we're working on it. And then I can go ahead and do the initial opening. Of course, one of the nice things about a rooftop tent is that it has the internal frame which lifts the entire tent up and uh, makes it super fast to deploy. So another, this is somewhat of a unique feature to the Yakima tents is that their rain flies actually have a clear vinyl at the top. So you don't have to remove the, the rain fly to enjoy your, your 
opening panels at the top of the tent. So you'll be able to get sunlight or starlight in that way. Okay, so now let's go ahead and detach this rain fly temporarily here. Okay, so now we can get inside the tent. So the first layer here is your full closure, which is your poly cotton material. And that can go up and out of the way. And then next you have your mesh screen to allow for ventilation and light without allowing flying insects to enter the tent. Okay, now on the inside of the tent, you can see what we've got to work with here. We got our mounting hardware, which comes in two separate bags, along with the detailed instructions that you'll want to review before uh, beginning the, the assembly. You've got your, your flex rods, and also guy ropes are in this, this bag. Uh, the flex rods are what will be supporting the awning. So you have, your, you have your grommet right here and you have your connection point right here for the flex rod. And we'll go ahead and do one of those too while we're, while we're showing off this tent. Okay, here's your telescopic ladder. Uh, the telescopic ladder also comes with its own set of instructions. It's important to use it properly to where when you extend it out, you, uh, you make sure it's, it's uh, set up properly to support the, the uh, cantilever portion of the tent. Then we have your outer PVC cover. So once, once you've stowed the tent and you're ready to depart, you would put that on and that gives you your outer full weatherproof covering over the tent. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up uh, this package here. So as I mentioned, this has your flex rods. And they're in there good. So I'll have to shake them out of here. Oh, and also has the ladder hardware. There we go. Okay, here comes everything. So those are your flex rods. You've got your guy ropes uh, for your rain fly. You've got your mounting hardware for the ladder. So that's what will be connecting this top part this plastic uh, protector needs to come off. Don't know if there's an easy way to do that or not. It's on there pretty good. Might have to get a tool to take that that off. Uh, however, that's that's your connection to the to the tent where you you bolt in your bracket to the tent and then the ladder bolts into that and. Let me get a, a tool to pull that off because it's on there really good. So depending on what it's going to take here. It was just jammed on there pretty good. Okay, so so what you have is your your hinge point and also your fasteners to connect it to the tent. So I just wanted to kind of show you that. And one of them came loose, so we'll have to look for the flat washer and the nut for that. Oh, you also have, by the way, your ground stakes to go with your guy ropes. Okay, I mentioned these these flex rods. And those are used, if you look here, you, you have a, a pocket, and behind the pocket, you've got a hole that's pre-drilled from the manufacturer. So that's where the end of this rod will insert. And we wanna make sure it goes all the way completely to the full depth of that hole. So just to get an understanding of how deep that is, it's nearly an inch and a quarter deep. So you wanna make sure you get it all the way in there 
and then that flexes up and it attaches to your grommet of of your of your awning and then that's that's what you do now when you have this up on the vehicle and you're wanting to attach these the easiest way to do that is to deploy the tent get inside the tent open up all your windows and just sit Indian style and rotate around 360 degrees as you reach out and uh, and put those put those in there um, okay and then lastly the mounting hardware we can go ahead and open up one of these one of these mounting hardware so you can check that out as well so you got the the clamp that grips to the crossbar which has the rubber touch points to be protective and provide grip it's super easy to tighten on with a with a simple turn knob here to make it tools free however at the same time one of the two for each sides has a lock on it so it must be in this bag okay so this one you'll see so two of the four mounting hardware has Yakima SKS lock cylinders pre-installed. And this other bag will have the keys for those lock cylinders. Here's one of those parts that we needed earlier. Okay, so what we have here, if you happen to have Yakima round bars, this is an insert that works with Yakima round bars and gives you a really really firm grip to those bars when you use this you would remove the the rubber inserts there this grips around the bar and then this grips to this adapter piece okay so that's that's how those work in addition inside this bag you have another tool right here and you have the two keys for your SKS locks. You've got your bolts. These bolts are for this hardware to mount to the underside of the tent where we showed had those black and red dots to indicate positioning. And then also these these little nuts that go in this track. So you have this this track. The nuts are inserted into the track and those thread through to meet the nuts from the inside of the tent to the outside to connect to that. Okay, so we've covered all the key key parts of this Skyrise HD rooftop tent. Our impressions of this tent is that it has been it offers a high quality material that that will offer long-term durability and four season enjoyment has a good look to it color and two-tone the gray and and red look very nice but those are all our first impressions and uh, open boxing of this this tent please see the link in the video description for complete details our pricing and our promotions and thanks for watching